Hey guys, it's Fida and today I've come up with a really delicious chocolate brownie recipe. So everybody loves fudgy brownies and this is the perfect brownies that you'll ever eat. They're super delicious. So it's just like a normal brownie. The procedures are same but then after you bake it, it's going to be super delicious. They're going to be very fudgy and the top is going to be really cracked and crispy. Whereas the inside is going to be really fudgy. This is just a basic brownie recipe so if you want you can add more toppings into it like, like you can add M&M's or more chocolate chips and any other toppings that you like and mix it into the brownie and bake it and you'll have your customized brownie. But I'm just showing you a normal recipe into which you can add in all the flavors and all the ingredients that you like. They're really fudgy and super delicious with a nice chocolatey taste so without any further ado let's get on to making it. First, here I've taken all the ingredients that are required for this recipe. We'll need 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. This 2 tablespoons is just for adding the butter mixture. We'll need more later. 1 and half teaspoons of coffee. Half a cup plus 2 tablespoons of melted butter. That's 1 third cup. Half a cup of chocolate. Sweetened chocolate is what you need. 1 fourth cup of brown sugar. We're also using normal sugar. 3 eggs at room temperature, 3 fourth cup of sugar, that is white sugar, then you'll need an additional cup of cocoa powder, 1 fourth cup, half a cup of all purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of vanilla and 1 teaspoon of salt. So I've heated the butter really well, you need it to be really hot, only then will the chocolate melt. Pour it on top of the chocolate, add in the coffee and the cocoa powder. The butter is too hot so you have to add in the cocoa powder quickly and mix it quickly or else the cocoa powder will form lumps and it will start cooking. Mix it up really well and it should come to a smooth saucy consistency like this. Now let's just set that aside for time being. It did come to room temperature before we pour it to the cake batter. Meanwhile, into a large bowl, add in the sugars, that's brown sugar and the normal white sugar. Also pour in the vanilla extract and add in the salt. Next, crack in all three of your eggs. And you need to beat it. You can use a whisk and beat it. It doesn't take too much time. You can just use a whisk and bring all the sugar together. You just need to melt the sugar a little bit. But the easier way is to do it with a hand beater. So you can beat it a lot. That way the cake is going to be more fudgy. That the brownie is going to be really fudgy. If you're using a whisk, beat it for at least 10 minutes. And if you're using a hand beater, around 5 minutes will be fine. And once it lightens in color, then you can add in the chocolate and butter mixture. Just pour that in and keep mixing. Once the beating is done, you can set the whisk aside. Now we're going to fold the dry ingredients in. Let's add in the cocoa powder and the all-purpose flour. Always sift it in to ensure no lumps. Then fold it using the spatula. So you need to fold it really gently because we have beaten a lot of air into the eggs. So if you deplete the air then the cake is not going to be as fudgy. Fold it as gently as possible. Here the batter is ready. It should be a little bit thick like this. Pour that into your baking pan. I've lined my uh, baking pan with parchment paper. Tap it quite a few times and then you can bake it. Bake it in a preheated oven and you just need to insert a skewer and if it is partially sticky then you can take it out. It's not going to be a cakey consistency. It's going to be fudgy so the skewer is not going to come out clean. It's going to be a little bit fudgy and there's going to be a lot of cake left in the skewer. Let's take that out of the pan and you can cut it and serve it. You can understand why cutting itself it's really soft and fudgy and it's super delicious. You can see all the cracks on top. 
it will naturally crack while it is baking so you don't have to worry about that and the cake is super delicious hope you like this video if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching love cooking